let us discuss about nature of roots of a quadratic equation what is quadratic equation quadratic equation consider ax square plus bx plus c it is a polynomial here the variable having highest degree is 2 that is highest power of a variable is 2 this is called the second degree polynomial if it equals to 0 becomes an equation so ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then it is called quadratic equation this is called quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is called quadratic equation where one condition is there that is equal to a not equal to 0 a should not equal to 0 that is if a becomes 0 then 0 into x square is equal to 0 so that the total term becomes 0 it is having only two terms that is bx plus c is equal to 0 the in this equation it is having the variable having the degree is 1 the power of the variable is 1 so it is a linear equation here it is a linear equation not quadratic equation it's not quadratic equation so so the coefficient of second degree variable should not equal to 0 in x square a is not equal to 0 then it is called a quadratic equation so these are this is the condition for the quadratic equation so what is the quadratic equation here an equation in which the highest power of a variable is a square then it is called quadratic equation next if you solve the quadratic equation we get two roots if you solve the quadratic equation we get two roots so how you can solve the quadratic equation by using this formula we can solve the quadratic equation that is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a by using this this formula we can find the roots of a quadratic equation this is the standard form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 is called a standard form it is standard form standard form of a quadratic equation so to solve the standard form of quadratic equation we can use this formula next discriminant what is discriminant the discriminant determines the nature of roots of any quadratic equation the discriminant is denoted by the delta that is equal to b square minus 4ac this part okay the radican part b square minus 4ac so by using this formula we can find the discriminant of a called any quadratic equation this gives the nature of roots of a quadratic equation this gives nature of roots of a quadratic equation so let us discuss about nature of roots of a quadratic equation by using discriminant if ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation where a not equal to 0 what is the discriminant here that is delta is equal to b square minus 4ac by using this formula we can find the nature of roots of a quadratic equation first one if discriminant that is delta is equal to b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 that means the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then the roots are real and equal the roots are real and equal at the same time if delta that is equal discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then roots are real and unequal in this case if b square minus 4 is greater than 0 and and delta is a perfect square then the roots are rational and unequal the roots are rational and unequal at the same time if delta is not a perfect square then the roots are irrational irrational and unequal so by using discriminant we can determine the nature of a quadratic equation in third case if delta that is equal to b square minus 4ac 
is less than 0 then the roots are complex the roots are complex complex numbers not real or they are not real numbers here the roots are complex conjugates the roots are complex conjugates this is it is having complex conjugate roots it is same in the case of it is having irrational conjugates okay 